Then we're going to look at part two, hence find the root of this equation. This is pretty interesting. Um, this part here, what you need to do is actually just look at the uh, the constant here, this constant here. So I think th th this is uh, the main thing we need to know. So um, you change the constant as, as far as uh, what is different here is basically the constant, right? So how do you get this constant to be the same? So you can just use, uh, you just use calculator quickly. So 7, uh, 7 minus i. Usually there's a multiple here, then divide by 7 plus i. It's actually, oh, is it 7 minus i? 7 minus 1. Sorry, 7 minus 1. 7 minus 1. 7 plus 7, 7i seven minus 1. <laughs> Sorry, 7i minus 1. 7i minus 1 divided by 7 plus i. Okay, great. So this is what. So you realize it's just an i. So you can actually see this quickly uh, that you, you just need to multiply by i um, to get this. Okay, actually, you don't really use calculator, but you can just use. Uh, so there, there are many ways. So I'm going to just um, try uh, to change to the change this equation here to this uh, this equation here to this part here. So the first thing is actually z square minus five z plus seven plus i. Actually, what uh, I think maybe we can just use minus i w square. This works as well. So I could um, change this to this as well. So I, I think it, it, either way is fine. So I'm just do, moving here backwards. So here you can see that 7i to, to get 7i to 7. So you just multiply by minus i here. Okay. So both sides here, what you're going to do is actually just multiply by minus i. So just anchor using the constant first. So this will be i square, w square minus 5i, w minus. 7i square plus i. Okay. So you multiply both sides by negative i. So negative i times negative i will be i square. So, so this cut part here we get is i w square uh, minus 5i w plus 7 plus i equals to 0. So this is similar to what we got here. Okay, so you see this is minus 5z. So there's a minus 5 here, so which is quite convenient. So if you to group them i w square minus 5 i w plus 7 plus i, you know that you substitute z equals to i w. Okay? So there you go. You, you, if you to sub z as i w, you get this. You just group that, this i w. So in other words, the if z from the previous part is equals to... Um, 2 plus i and alpha, so this 2 plus i, alpha would be um, 3 minus i, so this would just be i w, so w will be equals to 2 plus i divided by i, or 3 minus i divided by i, so I should just put this as or, then king calculator, okay, this one you could just king calculator, same thing, 2 plus i divided by i, 1 minus 2 i, or, um and we just put what is it three minus i is it three minus i divided by i minus one minus three i yeah so that's how we do this question proficiently let's look at the last part uh which is part c